Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another sketch challenge and here's the sketch that I'm going to be keeping in mind when I'm doing my layout. Going into this, I used day seven for the 12 days of Christmas cut files that we are uploading on our social media and on the HipKit forum. And um, I used day seven. For some reason when I try to upload it here, the image, I think since I extracted it, extracted it <laughs> um, into my silhouette it wouldn't convert into like a picture form so I just used the snowflakes and it is day seven um, of the free cut files for the 12 days of Christmas so here are some papers that I'm going to be working with lots of pattern papers um, I just want to kind of show you some of them that I'm using so um, I really like this gray snowflake for my background and of course I'm going to use vellum again and of course I'm using snowflakes so that's kind of been my pattern in using uh, or going into these layouts I've been using a lot of snowflakes um, but I I like it it goes along with my pictures so um, I hope you guys are enjoying these sketches that we're doing and I've had a lot of fun doing it okay so jumping into this I um, went ahead and put my um, cut file in my silhouette and I use a pattern paper, a vellum, and a blue cardstock for all my snowflakes. So I used three different papers and I got them all out, you know, off the, the sticky pad that it comes with and um, I'm just going to lay them down sporadically like this and in the sketch it has like these four different um, squares and I didn't want to use squares so I thought I would think outside the box a little and just do something that was um, vertical here and just keeping the same concept so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lay this pattern paper down and I really like this paper because it incorporates all the colors that are gonna be in my layout and I had this one little piece I was trying to make it work but it ended up not working on this layout, but you'll see me try a couple times with it. Okay, I'm just going to start just laying my snowflakes down. And the best tip for this is don't think too much about how they lay. Just lay them down. I've noticed if I take something like this and I just drop it out of my hand and let it lay, it just looks more natural than it is if you sit there and think about where each one goes and all that. So if you just let them just glue them down, don't think too much about it, it comes out really great. Okay, so this is my photo that I'm going to be using and this photo is so special to me. Um, it was the night that me and my husband um, got engaged and so I definitely wanted to incorporate this in um, these kits this month because it was, uh, we were in Colorado so and it was nice and snowy and everything was cold and so it was perfect picture I felt like for these um, types of layouts. So I'm going to back it up on some pink cardstock. It was some really bright pink cardstock and that came in our um, kits this month. And then I'm going to go in with this like sweater, sweater um, pattern paper. That's what it reminds me of is a sweater and that's from the Crate Paper Snow and Cocoa collection. And I'm just going to kind of rip it up, not making it perfect looking, so. And I'm going to kind of just mess around here and see, you know, because in the sketch it has these little stars that are falling down off the page. And I really like that, but for some reason I just, it wasn't working for me. So I mess around with that a couple times. I'm going to just move on to my title, and it's Mountain Top Love. And that's the only title I could come up with. Um, and I didn't want to think too much about my title and go back and forth, so I thought Mountain Top, Mountain Top Love was a good title, and it was long enough, and so yeah, I think it turned out good. So I mess around with that too, just to get the positioning right, and I end up, you know, figuring it out, but I just fiddle around with it, and I think you sh that's a good thing to do, just mess around, put it in different locations on your page, and just see what you like so there I go with the stars again I thought well maybe I can add some snowflakes I mean I really wanted it to work but I just thought maybe it was too much so I just didn't do it 
And I just love how my layout came together in the end. So kind of moving them around again just to see. And that looks really cute. I like the three stars, but then I thought maybe it was just too much. So, okay, so I'm going to go in. I'm going to start my clustering of my ephemera and just some other stuff that I had. And this little frame came in the exclusive, the Hip Kick Club exclusive pack. And I'm going to glue that down just to give it some interest and just, you know, something there on the side just to start my cluster. And then this little, these little mountains were from the snow and cocoa crepe paper. And I'm just going to pop that up. And then you're going to see, I'm going to just add some more snowflakes that were on, um, that are on the left side. I'm going to add them right there and just cluster them together. So I hope you guys like this. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want to join us on the sketches, feel free to. Um, we upload them over on the Facebook forum. So to find us over there. And you can find all this information in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.